Hey everyone, you guys probably just caught me live on my page on, or on the Dixieville Paint Facebook page and I'm going to stay out here and finish applying our transfer that we started on my live tonight. It looks pretty good. I really like it. It's got, um, if you look at it up close, it's got a really worn look. Let me know you guys can uh, see and hear me okay. So I don't always stay on after I'm done live, but tonight I'm going to stay on and I thought you guys might just like to join me and we'll put our, finish putting our transfer on. So this, you guys, look at the colors up close. This is the Hardine de Roses transfer that I started putting on tonight. The colors are stunning. You can see all the details in there. See how it's like jewel encrusted? Really pretty. Hi, Brittany. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do a less casual live and I'm gonna keep putting my transfer on. So this is the whole transfer, you guys, and I started cutting the piece, the roses out. So I did two pieces on my other live tonight. Hi, I know, Sheila, are you tired, Amelia, yet? Are you tired? Kimberly, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It was one of my one of my favorites as soon as I saw their transfer too. Let me show you guys what I did. I went inside and I got some of these binder clips. Because I'm cutting this up, I need to keep cutting it and setting it down. And this clips the, um, so I clipped the backing sheet once to keep rolling off of it twice in one night. It's your lucky day. Um, so I did go inside and get binder clips. Those are really good because the, the uh, backing sheet of the Hocus Pocus transfers doesn't stick to it as well. So just clip them together so it doesn't roll onto itself. We've all done that, right? Yeah, Sheila's not complaining. No complaints, huh, Sheila? I told Sheila, you guys, she needs to do a hot air balloon jewelry box. So I'm going to keep cutting this up. I'm just kind of looking at um, what cluster I want next. My whole life is a cluster. Where to get the transfer? Brenda, I put the link above in the post. Yeah, get the, get the clips with these. Get the binder clips and clip your backing paper. So it keeps wanting to curl up and then they, they separate. What I'm talking about is these two here. And if this rolls onto itself, it's gonna stick to itself and you're gonna ruin your transfer. Um, this is, oh, thank you. My eyelashes look awesome. I just have makeup on today. That's a fancy day for Brush by Brandy. So on this design, I wanted to start as kind of just this one up here and it's gonna kind of get wider. So I might put like one piece here and then it's gonna slowly kind of, you know, get, get heavier down here. So I'm gonna do a big piece right here, I think. So let's find a fairly big piece to put down there. I'm going to take this as a good size cluster. It's got four flowers on it. I'm going to take this one next. Oh, you use frog tape. That's a good idea, Brittany. That's a really good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, if you want to be all smart about it and stuff, you could do that too. So I'm just taking scissors and I'm going to cut out this next cluster that I'm going to put on. I don't think I'm going to use anywhere near this entire transfer. So I'm kind of going around the edges. I'm cutting out places where it would make sense to cut. So I'm not ruining any of these other clusters as well. Some of them touch a little bit. And this one touches just a leaf. Touches. Okay, and now I can set this down, yeah, with the tape or the... Um, the clips that I have, and then I've just got this piece is what I cut out. Oh, you Googled the hot air balloon paper. It's by Mint by Michelle is her business name. She just changed it, Mint by Michelle. She's got a line of decoupage papers. I do have a, a link I can give you. It's not an affiliate link, but I can look it up when I get off if you need it. Message me. But she does have beautiful papers. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of looking at this. I do want to kind of wrap this corner, I think. I don't want to just cut it off right here because I think this looks a little too stark. But I'm going to put this one here. And then I'll, I can wrap that corner with some other smaller pieces. Um, just deciding what direction I want to put this. Maybe like this. And then I can fill in in between here. Or do I go up? I'm going to run this up. I'm going to run this up and I'll go over this molding right here. Can you put transfers on the floor? How fun. Yes, Vicki, you can put transfers on anything. 
Hey, Elle, your first live. Did I say it right? Is it L or is it Ellie? Try to not say your guys' names wrong, but sometimes I don't know. Um, you can put transfers on anything. People put them on their KitchenAid mixers. On I'm going to do this drawer right here first. So then I can cut this right here on my, just my exact. These moldings are the hardest part, you guys. They, by far, you want to be care more careful on the moldings than anything. Here's the deal. If this application is imperfect, this is a very worn, aged look, so I'm not going to be super stressed about this application. And I'm going to put black wax on it. I can show you guys on my live tonight. It's going to have black wax. Now I'm going to cut this piece off right here where this drawer ends. This will come right onto my drawer side. And then this is a pretty clean flat surface. Missing comments, huh? Oh. You just put transfers on your on your mixer and you love it. I, I'm not gutsy enough to do mine yet. I like my mixer. My mixer is just plain silver, but my kitchen is very white and gray, so I'm not sure I want to do it. What did you put on your on your mixer? I think they're so cute. People put transfers on shoes, on oh gosh, what other things have you guys seen transfers on? Super creative. my backing away and then I can see what areas might need a little bit more rubbing as I go. Press it down with my fingers. Oh, I did miss a little piece came off with it. I'm just going to piece it right back on. Just a little piece right there. Done. There we go. Your black mixer collects dust. I'm not going to lie, mine does too really only for baked goods, which I shouldn't be eating anyways. These transfers are remarkably easy, you guys. Oh, pumpkins. Pumpkins are a good one. A lot of people are doing pumpkins right now. Pumpkins are a good one. I was talking to Christana last night. She was going to do some pumpkins for a video she's making. Um, I have pumpkins. I did pumpkins last year, and I, I'm ready to give them a new look, but I need to. I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut this top one off, and just use this one on the bottom. That's the back side of it. Oh, for doors. That's a cute one too. So you guys, Dixie Bell's doing this like. Um, Dixie Bell at home, and everyone's doing uh, uh, projects around their home, and I'm like, guys, I have a brand new house. Like, if I go painting my cabinets or something, if I go painting my cabinets, I have something to flip out. I see trolls. Okay, here's the deal, guys. I don't have any tolerance for trolls. Oh, angry faces? Eh, whatever. It's my own page. Um, what color hardware? I think, I think gold. I like the, the contrast of the gold. 
Um, Jeannie, I put a link for this transfer in my post above in this post. It will go directly to this specific design that I'm using too. So this one I'm going to play around again with the direction. What direction do I want it to go? Kind of like right here because this leaf will come. I'm going to layer it onto the front and then I can kind of press it and it stays right there. and then this leaf will come right here onto the front just a little bit and it'll wrap this corner. So I'm going to cut this piece that's going to wrap onto the front. I really try you guys, um, there's a lot of negativity on social media right now. I think COVID is responsible for that, just the environment. And I try to really keep it a positive place. Oh, you, you see the bow? These are so adorable. They're adorable. And these are actually really not that expensive either. I was shocked how inexpensive these are. These are on my page too. I put a, a post up earlier with a link to these. That was my transfer stick. Um, those, those bows are available through Dixie Belle. It's one of their new, this is Hocus Pocus Blenda. Okay, and then I can just rub it around this corner. I want to make sure I get this edge first. And I'm going to rub it onto this corner and then it's going to wrap. But watch what I'm going to do. Okay, I've got the, the entire corner covered. This corner, I'm going to cut this piece off right here. My X-Acto knife. I don't need to wrap that this corner and then I'm going to just place it right in the crevice below. I'm not gonna try to make it go around the corner. I cut it. The bows are from Would You Bend. Um, they're from Would You Bend, but they're available through Dixie Bell. Dixie Bell has them on their website. And they're really cute. This was a really plain piece, and so I added interest with Would You Bend. And now I'm adding it with this Hocus Pocus transfer. This transfer is called Hardeen Day Roses. It means Rose Garden. Hocus Pocus is a South African company, so they speak a lot of French. A lot of the names are in French. I never learned French. Okay, so I didn't try to make it wrap that corner. I, let me show you what I mean. I cut it and I placed it down below. You know, instead of trying to go over this ridge right here. So much easier. And then I don't, I'm not taking a chance. It's going to tear. And and now I can do this piece as I've already cut away everything that was attached to it. Um, Hocus Pocus transfers do apply a little bit better over a clear coat. So this piece does have a clear coat over the top of it. That's really important to know, I think, because um, not all transfers are the same. Peggy, I don't always. Sometimes after I'm live, it really depends on what the day has looked like. Sometimes after I'm live, I just go inside and eat dinner with my family. But tonight I stayed out to work, so I thought I might as well stay on live and finish this transfer with you guys, especially since this is a start to finish piece. We've done this piece together. Um, so you guys are invested in it a little bit and I didn't want to sneak in finishes without you. Okay, this is that leaf that wrapped onto the front. It just layered right on top of my other transfer. So I'm just layering this and it looks very, it'll look very natural coming down the side. And then I'm using just a Dixie Belle finishing pad, which is this light abrasive. The clear part is so see-through. You thought, <laughs> yeah, um, that's the backing sheet. So that's these right here, what I'm taking off. That's what it was attached to, but it rubs onto my, this piece is a little more, um, it's not a smooth blend, Lisa. It's kind of more of an aged finish. And now I'm just rubbing this transfer on. This also helps get, uh, uh, um, 
the Hocus Pocus transfers are really well known for their halo being minimal. Let me show you what I mean by halo. The halo is, let me come in here to the camera, there's a little printing line around the edge of the transfer. Can you see it around the edge of that flower? That's just a result of the printing process, okay? All transfers have them. It doesn't damage the transfer, Shirley. You wanna make sure it's, you know, I rub over it with my hand to make sure there's no air bubbles, it's not lifted up, and then it just perfectly seats it into my paint. If you want to, you can, you can distress over the top of a transfer, you just rub it a little bit more. Okay, so this halo, now let's look at the halo once I've attached it to my piece. Melanie, I'm all I'm gonna say is keep an eye out. Uh, Melanie's talking about the paint cast with Brandy and Kristana. Things got a little crazy during COVID. Our kids came home. We were homeschooling. We took a little break. So I'm gonna bring you guys in as close as I can so you can see the halo on this transfer. Okay, I have no, I'm gonna put a clear coat over top. I, I mean, you can barely see that. And this is over a dark color. This is gravel road and a little bit of coffee bean on the side. Once I put clear coat over the top, you're not even gonna see that. That is the halo on Hocus Pocus. I've been missing, you know, I've been missing Kristana. I've been missing Kristana and missing the paint cast. We do talk every day, but, um, and then it was, it was just time and, um, you know, how much time we had. So, so keep an eye out guys. Don't give up on us. We, we were working on something together this week. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so my next piece, I'm gonna take another one of these kind of smallish clusters and keep wrapping this corner. Okay, Is Daddy home, you guys? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take this one here. I like these for the corner because see how it's kind of linear, kind of long, so I can just wrap the corner with it. Uh, she's my people, Brittany. You gotta find your people in this business. It's rough. Business meaning painting and social media too, period. Find your people. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this away from this backing sheet. This is just garbage. You're homeschooled for 24 years. Oh my gosh, Lynn, I don't think I knew that about you. Yeah, we've had to jump in, and um, and we're homeschooling right now. So it's been it's been a big change. My kids are doing great; they're taking it in stride. But it's um, it's a really big change. Okay, so once I see what part I want on the corner, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut right here. Whoops, I didn't press that down enough. Put it back on my edge, press that down just enough that it holds in place. I'm gonna have to rub it a little bit. It doesn't wanna stay. Okay, so once I've got that held in place, now I'm gonna cut this piece from the side. And I'm gonna just put it right down here below. When you pick pieces to paint, do you paint them for you and what you like or what I think others would like? That's a really good question. That's a tough thing to decide, huh? Um, Amy, I, so most of my pieces are custom work, um, meaning that a customer contacts me and says, and this has taken me a few years to establish, and says, I want a dresser. I want it to be blue and pink and purple, needs to be 60 inches long, and I show them what I've got in my inventory and we um, make a piece for them. So I don't have to choose finishes because I can just take their colors and they show me pictures of their room and then I can just run with it. It's already sold before I do it. That's most of my pieces. This one here, I chose um, to do on camera with you guys start to finish meaning it's not sold and um, I don't 
sell these beforehand because it takes me a month to complete a start to finish piece. Um, most people are not that patient. So this piece is not sold. Um, and I got I started this piece by choosing the transfer first. I wanted to use this transfer. And then I chose um, colors that I thought would coordinate with it and I kind of worked backwards from there. So I, I guess my answer to that would be a little bit of both. It really depends on what what my timing looks like. Do I have I have a lot of orders right now, so I can't really say that. Um, what do I want to use? What am I trying to show you guys? What have I not done in a while? Um, what's what's new? Uh, Hocus Pocus transfers were fairly new to me. Um, there's not a lot of them on camera yet. Um, you know, I wanted to do a different finish. Our last start to finish piece, we did a blended look, so I knew I wanted to do something other than blending. It just depends. I wrote a, I wrote a, um, so interesting how you do mostly, mostly customs and so many other content creators do the opposite. It is interesting. We really get the choice of how we want to do that. So Brittany, um, how I, what I consider is, is the furniture that I do is kind of the byproduct of, of my job. My job is more of a marketing role. And to be able to market and teach and show you guys, I have to make furniture. But then I gotta get rid of it. So customers are a way for me to not have to store furniture and still be able to turn out massive amounts. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. It also means I gotta deal with customers. It means people are contacting me, they want updates, they wanna make changes, uh, I gotta do shipping. Um, all those things are a headache and a half but it's a necessary evil, you know? And there are times when I'm like, I need a break from customers, it's a lot, I've been overwhelmed, and I'll just take a break. And that means I just schedule my next order. I say I'm, you know, 10 weeks out now, and I just schedule it way out if I feel like I need a break. So, but I can decide that myself. And usually that means, like this carnival piece was just plain. Um, this carnival piece was just plain, and it may be, mean that I store it for a while. And that's okay. I knew that making it, it fulfilled my soul doing it. I had fun. I learned a lot. So a, a good mix. More pizza? Oh, that I'm white? Oh, let's see. <laughs> no bricks. <laughs> You guys, Sean's sitting all of two feet from me right now, messaging on here. He told me to look. I looked over and I'm like, what do you want? <laughs> said to read my screen. How long do you wait to ship a piece after you're finished? Ugh, I hate shipping. Um, I tell you guys that all the time, too. Uh, I don't wait. I, I wait until I, until I can get a shipper here. <laughs> Shippers are modern day gypsies, you guys. <laughs> they here, I told a customer recently I said these guys do this business they do shipping because they're not good at communicating they these are people that need want the job of being in a truck by themselves all day every day okay takes a special personality for that shipping is hard so I have to really work around the shipper so sometimes I schedule my my work around when when can I get a shipper here what am I rubbing it on with? So I originally rubbed it on with the stick that comes with the package. Mine's been used to stir paint. Ignore that. It's a Hocus Pocus applicator stick. Comes in the package with your transfer. And then I'm using, this is the Dixie Belle applicator sponge. You can get these from Dixie Belle. They're just a really light abrasive. And I cut mine up into smaller pieces. So this is like a third. They're really big. You can cut them even smaller too. And this just um, seats it onto the piece. When you first put the transfer on, this is paint right here. Um, this just gets out any air bubbles. It rubs away that halo. Makes it look like it's part of my painted finish. That's what this does. How are we looking? That's cute. That's cute. So it'll, it's going to keep coming around here. So we kind of need like a blob. 
I feel like you're checking yourself out. Like a blobby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those faces that ladies make. Hello. Ladies make when they put makeup on. <laughs> you see it in my soul. Sean's still there. Tell us a story. Oh my gosh, guys. This is not the Here's day for a story. story. I had a rough day today. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And I'm cutting at the same time. My oh, this is good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this big guy out here. I might, maybe I'll use this whole transfer. Maybe I'll just make it my goal to just put all, all of it on. Yeah, I got no stories. Um, I'm thinking. Oh, how about... Oh, man. How about when you're... Um, no. As soon as a smile comes to your face, I'm like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, you, I, don't, I you already like don't like one. the end like result. You like this one. <laughs> When your car got broken into. What? Yeah, at my oh, apartment. That sounds stupid at already. I know what you're talking about. At my apartment. What did they steal? What? what did they steal? Did that ever happen? Yeah, what did they steal? What? what no, steal? that didn't happen. As I'm turning red. <laughs> <laughs> you need to. Is my hair pink? Kind of. Um, Must be the light. It's, it's purple. <laughs> so my hairdresser asked, like, what color. I, she always asks me. I don't know why, because I don't really care. I'm not a. Fancy These girl people their stupid stories. And she said, you know, what colors do you want? And I was like, you can do whatever you want. She's like, how about like red or purple? And I was like, sure, go for it. Right? It's just your hair it washes out. It's kind of, um, she said it'll fade to like a brown. I mean, I don't, I'm not a colored hair person, but it was fun. How do you fix the peely part by the drawer? So here, right here, is this where you're talking about? I have some cracking in here. So, I'm okay with it here. I didn't spend a whole lot of time worrying about it because this is an aged finish. I'm gonna put black wax on this. I feel like I walk around with an aged see finish. Purple. I'm finding purple in here. I don't wanna take it down because see the purple in there? Man, it makes me hope my hair is clean, huh? See the purple in there? It's in there. Okay, thank you. Okay, she They found know. my stash. She I know exactly know what, what she said. I'm over on my phone trying to sabotage the <laughs> yeah. question before. Yo, he's gonna sit and ask questions. Make me answer uh, stuff instead of talking about this. So, um. What did they do? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Whatever it was, mine was stolen by the AT&T guy. <laughs> it wasn't that. Wow. It wasn't yeah. that. Hello. Don't let the AT&T guy in your house. He's shady. Um, no, it wasn't that. No, they found my stash. It was, it was nothing illegal. Does that give you guys a hint? Let me get this place in the world, but I'm going to tell you the story. Okay. Sean and I were dating. Never mind that I was broke. Yeah, Sean and I were dating. We were, well, he was super broke. Like, what? I wasn't. I had an apartment. That's, yeah, that's why true. you were at my place. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, One of my finer moments. I worked at a bank. I was in college. I worked at a bank. Sean was just freeloading. See that? Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna wish you this is, the story. Man. Uh, this, it's just like I tell my friends. What? You're Buy low, you're, sell high. Your who? Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> the two. <laughs> And okay. they're expensive. So he um, he was super broke uh, and had this really nice car. Really nice car. 91 Honda Civic <laughs> Take a trip to Target, Lynn. You're so cute. Um, I do need to go. I have my makeup on. But I don't like going to Target right now. It feels so awful with the masks and social distancing. And uh, there's so many rules. I feel more uncomfortable going out. I'd rather just stay home. Even if they opened it all back up, I'd still be like, never mind, I don't want to go. So this part wrapped the corner. Okay, so Sean and I were dating. He um, came to my apartment. Which was in a very nice part of town. It wasn't bad. It wasn't cheap. What? Oh. I like when it's your stuff. It's not bad. Please. But when it's mine, well, it's like, oh, no. This is my story. Yeah. <laughs> go on your own life. 
<laughs> That's going to be a bit of a problem. My. Yeah. Yet again, my two friends yeah. show up. And they are expensive. Yeah, Sheila's staying here. Brittany, too. <laughs> um, okay, uh. and then I'm going to cut across this bottom piece right here. I'll come back and do this. I'll try to do this one a little bit better than I did this. This one's not great. Um, he came over to stay at my apartment and brought his super sweet car, which was not gutted so sweet. inside. Yeah, it, it had like a seat, which might have been a lawn. What? Was it a lawn chair? Now you just make stuff up. No, it's a lawn chair. It was a milk crate. Yeah, it was, it was a milk crate. <laughs> Might as well have been. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not really sure how your truth is really true. And he parked it at my apartment complex, and then the next day he came in and he was like, my, my freaking car got broken into. Like That was the car that it always got broken into. Yeah, it always did. Um, I, it did. It got stolen eventually. Huh? Yeah. That's how we lost we, Oh, no, they recovered it, though. Yeah, because I got that call at like 1 in the morning. <laughs> lawn chair. Sheila, we've all been there where you... Have a lawn chair or a milk crate as your seat. seat. Oh, good. My cousin's on. Would you like to say anything else? <laughs> this is good. Um, you have to go through these struggles in life to really appreciate anything, oh right? Gosh. It helps us appreciate where we came from or where we are today. So. Uh, yeah, Sheila, but that was that was down the road. They took the car later. It was a different different time. Yeah, they stole the car. It was later. Different times. I'll tell you guys that one. That one next. They, they did end up stealing the same car. Um, and he came inside and was like, man, they, they broke into my car. I don't even think the car had locks, first of all. So it's not really breaking in if they just have to open the door. It was like a trick handshake. Yeah. You had to get into the yeah, car. Yeah, you just had to knock three times, <laughs> and it would, like, open for you. Um, Michelle, this would be a really pretty color for a spare bedroom. Really pretty. And this is a great piece for that because it's an older piece, so it's not what you want for your sock drawer, but it's perfect for a spare bedroom. Down here. Focus. <laughs> okay, focus, focus. So I came in and was like, man, they broke into my freaking car. You wanna know what they stole? Do you wanna tell? Is Fireball <laughs> June on? No. I think that's where I got it. Brittany and Sheila. Are, okay. <laughs> it was a case was <laughs> of top ramen. Yeah, they stole a case. When you are broke. Like you a case of top ramen. Top ramen is like even That's, for a case, is like ten dollars. Yeah. Okay, it's only. We're not messing around it's only here. Ten dollars. They stole it. The heathens <laughs> didn't even leave crumbs. I mean, took it. So Sean was so broke, number one, that he was eating top ramen, and then someone, when someone steals your top. But was ramen, I mad that they broke into the car? No, <laughs> I was mad they took the damn top ramen. <laughs> that was a week of food right there. Yeah, a case of top. He was the bachelor, you guys, like living, living the dream, you know, and and starving, and they stole. Oh heck, Pam's on here. Oh <laughs> come on. <Pam. laughs> oh. Yeah, they stole his case of top ramen. Caught me at my low. So then you gotta feel like, man, how low is the person who broke into the car? <laughs> Like, that's like were they just mad that they did all that and then that's all they had? <laughs> Pam says they stole his noodles. <laughs> they stole noodles. Noodles, Pam. <laughs> they stole the top ramen. Yeah, like a, it was like a case. Which is exactly, like, Claudia. How dare them? <laughs> Time. <laughs> oh, but man, he was upset. So Sean went hungry for like. Wait, he, what? Case of top ramen's like that's like a month. You have food. Where did you work at the time? Um, oh, let's see. Were you still doing construction? Maybe. Yeah, uh, guys. Now, mind you, this was what twenty years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last week. Last week. Heathens. <laughs> Back when it was fifty cents a cup. Yeah, inflation yeah. even made it a dollar each. This was. It's not even a dollar. A thing of top ramen is it? I don't ten, want you to think it about it. Cents a package? Now you're offending me. Now you're offending me. Before, not so much. You guys made me screw my trains around. But now, now I'm just about to get heated. <sighs> Can you change? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Cynthia. I'm sorry. Oh. I did get distracted on that one. So I just put on this piece right here. We just layered this one. I'm so sorry, you guys. I should have pointed it out. Let's do another piece. Um. 
Where's that transfer from? This is Hocus Pocus, you guys. I put a link above in the post. And it's a link that'll go to exactly this transfer that I'm working with, which is called Hardine de Roses. Where can you, Sylvia, uh, it's, a, it's at the link that's in this post. These, this is from Hocus Pocus. And I'm piecing together, I'm sorry, I got distracted with my story. So I'm gonna take this piece that's got the cut edge on it. And I like these for right along either the flat edges of the, the drawers, because they stick right in there. I don't even have to cut it. Or I can turn my piece and I can put it in this flat edge right here, wrapping this corner. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna take it though and I'm gonna cut this little excess off right here because I don't need that. And I wanna be able to butt this right into that corner. <laughs> Brittany, this is my own page. I would never tell this stuff on the Dixie Bell page. This is my own page, so I don't have to worry about it. We're, we're a little more casual around here. Okay, so I just cut that little edge off. See how it's now it's right up to the print. Sheila, I can't mess with the camera. Yeah, it's on selfie mode right now. Ha ha. He left to go pick up our son at his study group. We're doing co-learning with other parents right now. Sharing some of the responsibilities since all of our kids are on homeschool. We've got a few oh. a few trusted families where, you know, people that we know don't go out. They're friends that we've had from before. So our son goes there and their son comes here. You know, we know their families don't have any exposure. They work from home. Um, so we're trading our kids around and our son was at a study group tonight. And then we do homework with them. So like I did history with them this week. You know, the other mom takes a turn and picks a science lesson or whatever, and we're trading school. Liz says someone broke into her car and snagged a cassette tape. Oh, but, man. But the funny part was is they were Christian tapes. Oh, well, that's very unchristian of them. <laughs> uh, There's a one-way ticket to be had. Do you guys remember that? Like, you used to carry the CD pack around in your car with you, and the CD pack was worth, you know, a CD used to sell for 10 bucks. You had 100 of them in there. CD pack's worth 1000 bucks. It's probably worth more than what your car was worth. And where was the commonplace? Under the seat. Yeah. Yeah, Sean's car's got broken into a lot. That's stupid. So I like this. Should we keep going? Should I keep going down the leg? Is that too? Or leave the leg? All right, I'm sidetracking you, so I'm going to I know. I'm so distracted right now. Sorry. <laughs> that was a good I'm going to go make some ramen. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're all of a sudden. <laughs> Do we have any, or did it get stolen? I think I ate it. <laughs> Which I still really eat it. My nose is running. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> now that... Uh, yeah, you are so right, Sheila. Um, you had eight tracks, Claudia. You think I should go down the leg? You like the idea of wrapping down all the way down the leg? So let's look at it from the front. So I've got a little, this has a leaf. There is a leaf right here, even though it looks like an open space. I could go down the leg with a small piece like this one. So I have one that maybe is on an edge where I just have, because I only need kind of a partial. Cool if I I'm, I'm just going to take this one. What's that? If I do pizza? Yeah, go ahead. You want a perfect? Uh, yeah. Uh, vegetarian. Okay. Uh, ramen? Yeah, vegetarian flavored ramen. Liz, Liz says no more. Maybe one small flour. And I'm saving little scraps too. I've got little pieces like this that I've cut off that I can fill in with spaces with these too. You think just a leaf down here? You know what? <laughs> I like this scrap I think right here. Kind of fills in this spot. And it's got a flat edge on it. So I can wrap it to the edge of the back. Sean left. He was ruining everything. All my camera angles are getting bad. I'm gonna put it right here. You'd leave the leg. So this is just a scrap. This is a piece I cut, had cut off earlier.
<laughs> pizzas are square. Uh, I don't know. I should ask where he's going to order it from. We'll see. It'll surprise me. Either way, I'm not cooking tonight. All right, so let's take this off and we'll see where we are. Rub it with my hand. Take my finishing pad and go over it. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm with you guys. That kind of cleaned up this edge right here. It made a nice um, finishing point. I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, where am I, Liz? I'm in I'm in the Sacramento, California area. Okay, and now I'm gonna keep going. Let's do a piece that kind of comes right here. It goes down onto this bottom lip comes right here and, I, and then I, I mean I'm pretty close to I think not I don't want to overdo it I don't want to overdo it um yeah Christy I just rub over the top and it seats it right into my piece um it doesn't take any of the print off though so I think I want another big guy right here kind of a big long piece and I got one right here this guy right here. You kind of see what I've got left. Some of these smaller ones wouldn't work. Yes, um, Elaine, I'm going to put a clear coat over this. So on this piece, I'm using Dixie Belle flat clear coat, and I've got a I've got a coat of it already under this transfer. And then once I get my transfer all done, I'll put another coat over it. And I don't need to wait or anything. I can as soon as I'm done with my transfer. Um, it's all placed. I can just put another coat right over the top. I did want to show you guys on my live tonight. I um, my glaze sat for too long and I had a hard time wiping it off. I fixed it. See, it had like it left marks around here. I did get them off. It looks good. It's not that late here. Oh, Elizabeth, I'm so glad. I, I love what I get to do. I have a lot of fun with you guys. You know, some of your names are like family and friends to us too. So what do you think, kind of here? And then I can fill in. If I want to put a flower here, I can put a flower. If I want to put one here, I can put one here. You know, I can kind of fill in wherever I want. But I do the big pieces first, and then I'll come back and fill in with smaller ones. So I, this one feels like it's got a correct direction where if I put it upside, if I put it like that, it would be upside down. Um, what Did I use Baby Wipes or Paint? I got it wet, I let it sit for a minute, the glaze. Uh, I got it wet and I let it sit for a minute and then I came back to it and it had softened and I could wipe it off. Right there. Okay, I'll wipe that part on. I'm gonna cut at the drawer line and just I'm just gonna take this part off and off. It's a bit this is a big piece. Even if I'm doing super big transfers, like if I was doing a piece that or a big transfer that was all the front of this, I would cut it up into smaller bits. I would cut it up the the um, lines of the drawer and just work on one drawer at a time. So like this piece, I just cut the bottom off. I'm just gonna do this big one. Oh, the, aren't these pretty? The would you bend? This was a really plain front piece. Um, if I let me get you a little more straight, and you'll be able to kind of see it. And then I've got them on the curve here, and on the front, and then I'll have keyholes that go here over the keyholes, and my knobs will go back on. We will finish this piece live next week. I did some of the transfer on my live tonight, but I, you know, I don't need to do all of this. This is. This is a long live, so I'm just, I'm just kind of. Sorry about that. 
my um, signal cut out for a minute. So here's how it goes. If you guys are using a Hocus Pocus or an Iron Orchid transfer, clear coat underneath. If it's a redesign with Prima transfer, on the raw paint. Does that help? You'll figure it out pretty quick. They're, they just are harder, they just go on much harder. And then this is the piece I cut off. Oh, the sh uh, yeah, Joan, I think those, I think you could put those together. They're similar colors. Okay, and then I'm gonna come put this guy down here. Let me find out. Okay, I wanna match it up. I'm going to come do this flat part underneath. The moldings on this one are giving me grief. It's a worn look though. I'm not super um, worried about it. If I had uh, moldings I didn't care for, I would paint, come back and paint them in. I'm not going to paint these in. I'm going to leave them worn. It's because these moldings have one, two, three little littler curves inside of them. ride one crevice at a time and it's got three of them inside there. Um, do I have a video last week on this piece? Yes, Mary, I do. I don't have them up on, I don't have it up on YouTube yet. I will put all of these up together. It's going to be a total of four videos that do this entire piece from start to finish, from straight out of my storage. So right now, you can find it either on the Dixie Bell page from last Thursday or on my page from last Thursday because I always share them to my page and I will get them all up on YouTube once I'm finished. I'll compile it all with the finished piece. Um, all right, so that's the front, you guys. I don't even know. If anything, I think I could fill in like a, like a little piece here. There is a leaf here. It's very, very, very faint. See, there's a leaf right there. I don't want to cover that. I actually really like how it looks. It looks really good against the gray. So I don't want to cover that. Let's see what I've got left. Um, you know what, I've got a leaf piece right here. I think I'm gonna take this leaf. And I'm gonna have to move my binder clip. So, so I use the binder clips to hold. Yeah, I don't wanna, I definitely don't wanna cover the leaf, but I'm gonna put another one on. I'm using binder clips to hold the backing sheet to my transfer since, um, I'm cutting it apart so that it doesn't roll on itself. So this has a little flower piece attached to it. 
And I'm going to take that off because I just want the leaf. Put that just on a backing sheet and I'll just use it somewhere just for the sake of using it. Oh, here's another flower piece. Let me make sure I get this off too. Just another. And then I can just stick this flower coming off of a maybe here or up here. Kind of thinking here. Yeah, I like that. I think it's fun to puzzle piece transfers together. This doesn't stress me out. I think this is relaxing. There's no right or wrong way. I totally changed the look of this transfer by cutting it apart and putting it in a totally random placement. So that's a leaf right there. I'll, I'll give you guys up close on it in a second. And I've got these two tiny little flat guys. I'm just gonna put them around the corner just as little space fillers because they're here and I got them and I might as well use them just like this just in that corner just gonna cut tuck it right in there just a little filler right in the corner More is more, right? Not less is more. Are you going to rub anything on the handles? Uh, a little gold. Yes. Yes. And a little gold on here. There's going to be little touches of gold. We'll do all those little touches next week. Yeah. Gold on all my would you bend to match the handles. Silver handles would look good on this, but I think the gold will be a kind of a pop of color. I also thought about putting a little, little bit of drippy pink in it. I might experiment. If I if I do, don't worry, I'll do that on camera as well. And Liz, next Thursday, every Thursday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern is when I'm live. All right, I do have a leaf here too, so that might look like an empty space, but it's got something, you know, I, here I have an empty space. And I've got some small pieces like this. I might just cut a single flower out for right there. I just cut one flower away from the other. I'm gonna put this on a backing sheet and set it down. And then I've got this, another little edge scrap. I'm gonna put that on a backing sheet and set it down. And then I've just got this piece of a flower. I did cut out a, a petal here. Where can you get this? And do you print your own or is this, a, this um, these are pre-printed, so this is from a company called Hocus Pocus, and they are already printed. So you don't have to custom order anything. They've got designs already designed for you to choose from. Um, the link for them is in is in my post. I put it up in the post, uh, the post that we're on right now. So you may need to wait till we get off, and then it, it'll show up. Um, and you can click on that link. I'm just going to cut this piece away right here. As of right now, there are not companies that do custom transfers. You can buy uh, custom uh, wraps, like it, which are they're like giant stickers. Um, 
you can get those with custom images, but they're different than a transfer. Those would be more like wraps, like what you would put on your car, you know, and you, but you can get them with any image you want. And you can put them on furniture. These, these corners, I feel like I need to lay down on the ground and like get up in there with my face because they're giving me a heck of a time. These um, moldings. Okay, I like that better. I'm using the camera like a mirror here. Push it away. Okay, I feel like this needs a piece. This is one of those scraps I just took off. Okay, that looks Yeah, the wraps haven't appealed to me yet either. They they don't, Brittany. I, I don't I'm not a fan either. I understand I could see that. Alright, I don't know if I want to do anymore. I feel like I've got a nice flow right now. Let me bring you guys in close to the leaves. Because some of these spots look empty, but they do have a leaf in there. Can you see those leaves? That's what I'm talking about. So this spot, when I back up, it looks empty right here, but it's actually got something right here. See that? And then here's another one up here. It looks empty from far away. It does have, I mean, I can see it in person. It does have a leaf in there. So some of these spots, I don't wanna, um, you know, I don't, I don't, it looks empty. I don't wanna put a filler right there because that is the filler. Yes, I do. I slice this drawer line with my X-Acto knife. I've got that out. This, this right here is a razor knife. And I slice zoop, while it's still attached right into that line. Gives me a perfect cut. You can. You can overlay the leaves, but they're so faint. If I put it over a flower, you wouldn't see it. They've got to be on their own. Um, I don't think I want to do anymore, guys. If I did, it would be right in here. So what I can do is I can take, let's take like a single flower and I can play with it and I can see. Okay, so let me get head on. You guys can help me decide. And this has a leaf attached to it too. I don't hate it. I could also do something right here. So I can take the backing off and I can play with it. And you can see through it so I can really decide. You can take a picture of it from far away and help you really decide if you like it or not. I kind of like that. Do you ever do a color wash over transfer? I have, it looks really good. In fact, somebody asked me about the, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna butcher this, Chateau Leroux transfer. It's a redesign with Prima one. I've done a color wash over that of just like a white wash and it, it dulls the colors. It looks really good. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Thank you guys for telling me yes. I'm gonna cut this. This is what you guys just asked about. I'm gonna cut this right on this drawer line. Okay, and that gives me a small piece. And I can do either one of these first. I'll go ahead and put this tiny piece on. I'm using my fingers to press it into the molding. These moldings are a pain. They're multi-level. 
This one's easier because it's right at my eye level so I can really see it. That one down low, I didn't do great on. I needed to get my face in there. So this will be the best one, I can tell already, because it's right at my eye level. Yeah, this is by far the best one right at my eye level. I just needed to pay attention and look at them closer. That one came out perfect. There's no cracks in that whatsoever. This one down here, this one's got some cracks, and this one at the bottom, forget about it. I'm going to use my fingernail and just ride that crevice. Let's do this. it away as I rub the transfer on. I'll hold my hardware up in a second so you can really see what the hardware on this piece is going to look like. All right. That's cute. Very layered, kind of organic. And then I thought about maybe putting, once I've got the top done, uh, it's a, a wood top. It's not done yet, it's just raw wood right now. I could take a piece over that corner and just put it onto the corner of the wood, might be kind of cute. Nothing is ever perfect. It's not. We're doing hand-painted furniture, you guys, and that's, that's part of the beauty of, the, of these finishes, is they really are. There's flaws in everything. I would never tell you there's not. Perfectly imperfect. Another little scrappy right here. I'm gonna wrap it onto this corner. I just try to use these scraps if I if I can without making it look gaudy, rather than throw them away. <laughs> well, look at you! Look who's come you gotta up! You own it. <laughs> look who's come up all of a sudden. Did you want dinner? <laughs> so you guys, Sean just brought me dinner. I just, what? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Someone's come up. <laughs> like this piece onto the top would be really, would be perfect. Just on that corner. I think the crackle effect looks good. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to put black wax in the crevices on this so you actually won't even see it. Right? Right? So, and then the, that piece you know, could come up here. Maybe I could put a little bit onto this part right here and then, but I can't do that until I do the top. Gourmet tonight, Carla. Yeah, Sean's cooking, so lucky me. Do you guys, if you guys follow Pam Haskins, um, she always posts her husband makes her these beautiful meals and that's what I go into. Okay, you guys wanna see the handles? I got transfer scraps all over the ground. I'm trying to not mess them up. Okay. Okay. So this is my original hardware. These little guys on the drawers and these guys on the top. And they these have been cleaned and they cleaned to a gold. Um, I mean, it's, they're clean. But they've got this kind of weathered gold finish. So you can stick it in these holes. Like that's really cute, huh? And then a little bit of gold on here. This is gold. These keyholes are gold. Once I put them back on, they have to be nailed back in. And I think that little bit of gold will be really cute. It it is, Llewellyn. It's a distressed looking transfer because it's it's kind of translucent. So you can see my paint finish underneath and my paint finish has that woven texture to it. Hashtag woven texture. Um, and so it, it goes with the, with the kind of aged worn finish. What color gold? I would use um, gold gilding wax on them. So I'm gonna put a 
we did wax and glaze on these tonight. This has a little bit of wax around it, so see how it's just darker around the edge? This one I did not do, so I still have to do this one. Yep, this one's going up for sale, Joan. This was just a play piece, doing my thing. I'm going to back you guys up so you can see it from afar. Get the whole thing in, in the picture. I like it. It's very aged and worn and um, it's even prettier in person. When I take still photos, you can get things that you can't see on a video. Um, and you'll really see that texture and the age of the flowers and the black wax. And um, Do you just use brass cleaner? Glenda, I soak it in 50-50 white vinegar and water overnight and then I scrub it with a um, scotch pad. Oh, Carrie, thank you so much. So I could even do, maybe I'll do another little, just see I'm looking at it again. You guys didn't tell me to stop. We have pizza, Brandy. I'm looking at my scraps, and I feel like I could do something right here. Too late, I did it. Now I gotta find my little tool again. Gosh dang it. And this is what I've got left of this transfer. So I can still do another piece. I've got quite a bit left. I've got at least, what, six clusters left. And I probably used 10 on this, so I could do an, a matching nightstand or something. So from one transfer, you get all of that. Um, Patrice, I'm gonna do the top. We'll do it next week on camera. I cannot find my transfer stick. I'm gonna use this putty knife. Up there. The top is going to be a uh, stained wood. This will tell you if a putty knife can put on this transfer. I'm going to cut this piece from here. It's part of a leaf. I can fill in with that if I want. And I will because I don't like to waste anything. Transfer stick does better than a putty knife, guys. Oh, that's right behind me. Okay, I filled in that leaf. I like this down here. I'm going to wrap up this, this piece that I have. I could do one little edge piece. Let's see what I got. Oh, me too. This one's perfect. See right here? I just want this guy. once I finish the top. You need, it needs a small flower over it. So I can step away and look at it and I have plenty more to, that I could add if I feel like I want to add a piece. So I'm going to save this. I'm just going to stash it up on the top of my piece. So we'll do the top next week. I have a special treatment we're going to do to the top of the piece. It's going to be kind of cool next week. Um, I wanted to finish it tonight because I'm itching to photograph something. Yeah, I think that's cute. 
I don't know. I can fill in. So it does look very, very English. I like that, Patrice. Um, okay, I'm going to get off, you guys. If I missed any questions, I'll go back and reread through these. But I'm going to pop off and go eat pizza with my family. Um, thanks, guys, for hanging out in an after hours show with me. You guys are my nighttime crowd. I'm a nighttime pr painter. It will be so pretty. It's very aged looking. Very, It's very, you know, it would be a perfect little dresser in a guest bedroom done in blush and gray. That's kind of the feel it has. Um, the link for the transfer by Hocus Pocus is in the top of the post. You can see it here. Hardine Day Roses is backwards for you guys. Hey you guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Oh, Sherry, hi. I missed that you were on. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get off. I'll read it all later. Good night, you guys. Have a great weekend. Good night. Thank you.